People want to talk about the things that you should do. Go out and tell people this, or go out and do this. But if, if your profession is, let's say you're a teacher by trade, maybe you've never done this, right? That would be no different than you telling me, go up and just teach the class and just write on the board. Like, I, I don't even know where the chalk is, right? I can't even start that process. So what's important when you start a business like this is to understand some tactical steps to help you get from where you are to where you want to be. Does that make sense? Yeah. So a couple of things. This is going to be an opportunity for you to listen and learn. So hopefully, everybody's got something to write with. Now let me see. Mr. Kirk, can I borrow this? This is important. Here's your first clue. Success leaves clues. Does everybody get that? Yeah. Whenever you come to something like this, I would highly suggest that you have something to take notes in. But don't have something that has loose leaf or the spiral. That's no good. You want to have something that's bound so that you can have it for future generations. So if you've been here before, because I've had a couple of people that stopped me and told me that they got there because we talked about this. So if you have a bound, note-taking instrument, raise it up for us, let us see it. All right, let's give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Y'all be mad, give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all stop being stingy. So here's the second thing I'll tell you. When we're doing these presentations, you want to make sure that you keep the energy level up, right? Because it's important. So I get it right now that you guys have spent your time, you've overcome every excuse in the book to get here. Don't you love it? I'm sure somebody right now has got somebody that was supposed to be here that didn't show up, right? Does anybody like that? Yeah. Okay, so understand, especially for the new people, that's just how it goes. It will never, ever go away. You will always have people that just won't show up. And they are not showing up, not because of you, because of them, right? right? They are making an excuse for them, not for you. So here's the deal. When you're here, get your information. This is your time to be involved. So pose your questions if you can. Typically, we have a question and answer period at the end, or your questions may be answered as we go through this. But your energy level is important. Why is it important? Because we, as the people who are presenting, feed off the energy. So if we come up and somebody asks you, how are you doing? And you go, hey, hey, you know, I'm hot. <laughs> it's tight. My feet hurt. Well, that doesn't help us help you. Does that, does that make sense? Right. So when somebody comes up and every presenter is probably going to ask you, hey, how are you guys doing? Because what else are you going to say? Right? So when they say, how are you doing? Give it up. Give them some energy. Let them feel some energy. So that way they give you back some energy. Fair enough? Yeah. So let's try that. Hey, how you guys doing today? Outstanding! Outstanding. So, just a quick story about that. You guys can take this with you if you want to. But a lot of people in circles call me Mr. Outstanding. And sometimes people get upset when they hear me being introduced or referred to as Mr. Outstanding. I don't necessarily call myself that. But outstanding is my response, Mr. Murray. When people ask me, hey, how are you doing? I go, I am outstanding. And I got that from an old gym teacher once who always said that. And I used to just tease him because he would always say that. He would say, hey, how you doing? Outstanding. How you doing? Outstanding. 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 So one thing, because I teased him so much, I accidentally said it at the supermarket. Somebody, you know, just, hi, welcome to Johnny. Can I help you? How you doing today? I was like, outstanding. And she said, wow, really? She said, well, I'm supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Then. And I was like, okay, good. But what that showed me is that my response can brighten up somebody's day. You never know what people are going through. So in this business, it's about your energy to make yourself attractive. When you're walking up to somebody and you say, hey, you look like a sharp person. You keep your business options open. Sure, that's the person I want to be in business with, right? So when people ask you how you're doing, give them something so they can feel you like, wow, now I'm already interested. I'm peaked off the break as soon as you say something. So when somebody says, when I walk with somebody and I say, hey, how are you? And they say, I'm fine. I say, I am outstanding. Well, well, why? And now I've got a lead in as to why I'm outstanding. So you too can be outstanding, okay? It's not just me. Anybody can do it. And it's a mindset, not a skill set. So for all of you who are mad or you think you're all that, you're outstanding, no, that's just my emotional state. Like being happy on steroids. I am outstanding. So hey, how are you guys doing? Outstanding! All right, let's get into this. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen and I hope everybody's got something to write with. You're in for a treat today. We've got a lot on the agenda. Again, we're gonna talk about some mindset stuff. 
we're gonna do some role playing. How many people understand that it's important to make sure that you can bring people into this organization, into your organization, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you some practical, tactical role playing to help you get there. We got some recognition. I can't wait for you guys to hear the difference between amateurs and professionals, because there's a difference in this business, right? When you get started, everybody starts off at ground zero. But if you want to take your business to the next level, you're going to love that part. We're going to talk about everybody's favorite subject, cryptocurrency. How many people are excited about the cryptocurrency? We got some people raising their hands twice for that excitement. So we're going to talk about that. And if you don't even know what crypto is, that's good that you're here.